Voters in Switzerland's referendum support carbon reductions as glaciers melt. A new climate law intended to reduce the use of fossil fuels and achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050 has received the support of Swiss voters. As glaciers in the Swiss Alps quickly melt, the government claims that the nation must safeguard both the environment and its energy security. The law mandates a shift away from reliance on foreign oil and gas and toward the use of renewable energy sources. In the referendum held on Sunday, 59.1% of voters supported the green energy ideas. The measure's detractors had claimed they would increase energy prices. Except for the right-wing Swiss People's Party SVP, which demanded the referendum after objecting to the government's plans, nearly all of Switzerland's main parties backed the law. Three quarters of the energy used in Switzerland is imported, and all of the oil and natural gas used there is also imported. The climate law commits 2 billion Swiss francs or $2.2 billion in financial support over 10 years to encourage the replacement of gas or oil heating systems with climate-friendly alternatives, and 1.2 billion Swiss francs to encourage firms to adopt green innovation. It occurs at a time when glaciers in the Alps are especially vulnerable to temperature increases brought on by climate change. Between 2001 and 2022, they lost a third of their ice volume. Leading Swiss glaciologist Matthias Huss praised the strong signal delivered by Sunday's decision, writing on Twitter that he was very happy the arguments of climate science were heard. Huss has closely observed the glacier's decline. Valerie Pillar Carrard, a lawmaker for the Socialist Party, called it an important step for future generations. In a second referendum, 78.5% of voters decisively supported plans to enact a 15% global minimum tax on multinational firms. Switzerland joined the almost 140 nations that ratified an Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development Agreement to establish a minimum tax rate for large corporations in 2021. The very strong acceptance rate for the proposal to modify the constitution so that Switzerland may join the accord was praised by Finance Minister Karen Keller-Sutter. The referendum turnout on Sunday was 42%.